we shall learn how query string parameters are dealt with in MVC. You have a query string with certain parameters how they are passed into action methods how they are tackled with this is the point of discussion now let us see first of all we have already created a default application app start root config as usual no changes made and then added a controller called home controller with an index method returning a string so we shall be playing with this one let us now run it and see what is the output it is simply returning the string hello world as we have typed in the action method so the question is if a user passes parameters in query string what happens to them can they be accessed through the action how should we access them let us see consider this URL where the user types home slash index question mark name is equal to ho1 this is what the user has typed in the address bar no doubt index will be the action method that will be called but how to capture this query string parameter the query string variable is name and its value is coming as ho1 how do we capture this here so the technique is create a string parameter having its identifier same as the query string parameter the query string parameter that we are passing is question mark name is equal to ho1 this name is equal to ho1 is the query string and this name should match this parameter names should match if it is so then this name can be accessed here and we will be able to display ho1 so let us now uh, add this name here so that it can be tested I'll write hello word plus name so if we are able to capture this query string parameter then it should display hello world whatever we pass as the query string let us run it so let us pass question mark name is equal to ho1 and press enter yes it comes here we can pass more parameters if we want we can simply write string course and we can see display it course is equal to plus course so this should be plus here concatenation now let us run it so we should pass two query string parameters name and course run it 
question mark name is hovan and course is equal to mvc press enter and it works so the technique is to pass the parameters in query string as usual and course is equal to mvc these parameters directly are passed into the action method parameters from there they can be accessed and you can do whatever you want so as an exercise you can try doing this pass two parameters two parameters x is x and y the value of x should be 50 and the value of y should be 20 these should be displayed in the action method called index by passing suitable parameters here and displayed here so you can like uh, maybe write x is equal to something uh, plus y is equal to so the point is to show x and y separately on the screen like we have shown name and courses but generally passing parameters through query string is avoided in MVC you should always try to pass parameters through slashes but if in a rare circumstance you want to pass then this option is always there search engines generally do better with this type of passing parameters URLs with slashes are generally considered search engine friendly these slash the URLs are considered search engine friendly instead of these ones although the situation has changed now even with question mark query string parameters search engines are accepting them but still these look more neat so uh, thanks for this lecture